Today is day one of 20 of Lightroom Tips for Wedding and Portrait Photographers. My name is Claire. I am a wedding and portrait photographer close to DC, and I also own a photo editing business. I've been doing that for about five or six years. So I have edited hundreds of thousands of photos. I'm probably close to that million image mark at this point. Who knows? Um, but I have been in Lightroom so much over the last almost decade that I wanted to share all of this information with you so that you would have the resources to edit better and edit faster. Today, we are going to be talking about Lightroom Classic versus Lightroom CC. So this is a question when people are figuring out if they want to use Lightroom, if they want to edit photos that way. And just to get right to the point, Lightroom Classic is the way to go. It is the best resource for wedding photographers, but especially people that are editing bulk images. So Photoshop might be the best resource if you're editing one image with like super, super intricate things. But for my purposes for shooting weddings and portraits, Lightroom Classic is the way to go. So in this video, we're going to be talking about just some of the differences. And so you can see a comparison of Lightroom Classic versus Lightroom CC. Here I have pulled up my applications window. So just to be super clear, at Adobe Lightroom CC is actually called just Adobe Lightroom when you pull up the file. And then there's Adobe Classic and that is called Adobe Classic. So there can be some confusion when trying to talk about these two different applications. So just to be super clear, when we're talking about Adobe Lightroom, it is also sometimes called Adobe Lightroom CC. So let's start there. So you'll see in Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Lightroom CC, um, you can definitely pull in images. The biggest difference between Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic is that this is cloud-based. So you'll see up here, I actually ran out of memory. I don't use this piece of software on my laptop. I do use it on my phone. It is a great free application and you can pull up on your phone. That's great for editing iPhone images or maybe one quick image for a client, but I definitely don't use this for bulk editing. Lightroom CC is really great because it is free. So if you do not want to pay for something, it is a free application. So Lightroom Classic is only 10 bucks a month. I think it's totally worth it to get it for 10 bucks a month, um, but Lightroom CC is free. So this application we're looking at right here, we can go into without paying for it. There are pretty much the same exact um, editing features on Lightroom CC versus Lightroom Classic, except the only one that Lightroom Classic has is down here and it is the lens calibration. It is a way to change color but most people do not even use this. Um, this particular image does have some lens calibration going on just because that is in the base preset. But if I go to another image with a different preset, there is absolutely no lens calibration going on. It's just not how the preset was made. So if you don't need lens calibration, then you could of course use the same editing features in Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Lightroom CC. But really the biggest difference here is how you can go through your images. I much prefer Lightroom Classic because I can go through all of my images quickly. And this is so, so helpful when I'm editing 200 images at a time, a thousand images at a time, which we have a freebie and a course all about how to do batch editing really efficiently. And so for those purposes, I would highly recommend Adobe Lightroom Classic. So a few things to note about Adobe Lightroom Classic. It is, in my opinion, the best for bulk editing. So for our purposes, this one is the way to go. It is desktop only, so you can't pull this up on your phone. There is a lot of functionality here, so a desktop is best for it anyway. It is 10 bucks a month, but that also includes Photoshop as well. So you'll get both for that $10 a month. With Adobe Lightroom Classic, you will need to either store all of your raw images on your desktop or on an external hard drive. I have so many external hard drives from the past decade. I always get like a four terabyte hard drive. I like to keep everything from the same year on one of them. So I definitely use a hard drive for all those images. Just to make sure I have everything backed up, I also use Backblaze. I'll include a link below with Backblaze. It is a great online service for cloud-based storage. I absolutely love it. I have so many images in there. I have several terabytes of information in there. And at right now for me, it's only $9 a month. So I would highly recommend looking into that. It's wonderful, great peace of mind that your external hard drives are backed up. 
that all of your weddings that you have delivered on galleries, all of those JPEGs are backed up. Everything is backed up. So with Adobe Lightroom Classic, you definitely need to make sure you are on top of it with making sure all of your files are backed up compared to Adobe Lightroom CC or Adobe Lightroom. It is cloud-based and that will definitely get used very, very quick. So that is one significant thing to note. You will have to make sure you are backing up your images very, very well. I have my favorite external hard drive linked below. I just use a Seagate four or five terabyte hard drive and they have worked wonderfully for me. I've never had one die. I have dropped them slightly a couple of times and they still have not died on me. I absolutely highly recommend them. And you definitely wanna back up your images some way and this is a great way to do it. So feel free to look at that Seagate hard drive down below. Now, in comparison to both of these Lightroom options, of course, there is also Photoshop. So Photoshop, you can only edit one image at a time. So I would not use this for bulk editing your weddings. It would take so, so, so much longer. Um, but I do pull an image, like a final edited image from Lightroom into Photoshop if I need to, say, fix something um, that needs to be cloned out. If I ha if I wanted to get this like one line of dark green there, I would just use the clone stamp here and I would go over here and fix that. So this is really the only thing I do in Photoshop. Something is in the way or something is really distracting and I need to bring it in for that. But otherwise I do not use Photoshop for editing exposure, color, all of those things. So in conclusion, I absolutely highly recommend getting Adobe Lightroom Classic. It is the best software to use for portraits for weddings, especially things that are just a lot, a lot of images, and you need to get all of these images done quickly and cohesively. Let me know if you have any questions about that down below, and I will see you in the next video.